And we're going to roll in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this episode of A Word With Words, the podcast. It's your girl, Bree Stories. And it's A Tati. And it's MJM Kid. And we have our good friend Marsh with us. Woo! What's up, Marsh? Tell the people who you are, what you're about. (laughs) Quickly. Hello, my name is Marshall (laughs) Bennett. Um, Photographer, basketball player. Oh, yeah. Longtime friend of MJM Kid. Hey, Tati, and Bree Stories. It's kind of funny that you would say MJM Kid's name. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. (laughs) It's all right. (laughs) I see. Boys Club. Boys Club. Yeah. Mm. I was kind of just yeah. mm. I was just kind of just going like this, yeah. yeah. That's a mom. Well, yeah. I'm jealous. <laughs> no, that's fine. I love the honesty. Yeah, well, me I'm too. jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Marsh. Marsh has been. Do you mind us calling you Marsh? I feel like yes. I started calling you that, and yeah. without yeah. your consent. Yeah, so. When the camera's on, I'm like, what do you want to be called? <laughs> um, no, Marsh has come on board and started helping us with um, the cameras are on. No, for real, <laughs> because I don't want them to be like this brooch. <laughs> um. Marsh has come on and helped us with behind the scenes stuff for the past like few months. Yeah, definitely. And he's fantastic. He has a great mm-hmm. eye. Um, thank and it's been so really, much. really nice having you around. Thank you, thank you. Thank so you. now you are in front of the camera as opposed to behind the camera. Yeah. And we're gonna oh, yeah. we're gonna have a hot takes episode with you. Okay. We're gonna get to that in just a moment. First, we're gonna break some ice. Yes. Yeah. So, what is one thing? Like one habit that you have that you know is unhealthy or you know it's oh. toxic or know it's bad for you, but you're not, you you still do it and you don't really have intentions on stopping. Oh, this is a great <laughs> question. I'll go first. Okay. I binge drink. Mm-hmm. Oh. But it's mm-hmm. like, look, I felt the need to explain it. Yeah, I don't drink on a daily basis, but when I drink, I can't help myself from just drinking for a means to an end right like mm-hmm. i do have the ability to just have a drink for the sake of having a drink but for the most part i'm trying to like feel something mm-hmm. and that yes. can always go too far yeah. <laughs> same yeah. yeah that is definitely mine as well so, yeah. yeah understood yeah okay what about Marshall? you Marsh? Mm-hmm. it's kind of honestly it's pretty obvious it's, i think all men kind of deal with video games Oh, like oh. I didn't know what you were going to say. Yeah, me either. I was just like. <laughs> I'm like, all men do it. Everybody's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. cheating? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, no, no. Like, I was like, what is, like, what's going on games. here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, video, video games? Video games. Hmm. Oh. I think it's just like. I can't relate. Like, unhealthy? But, yeah. Well, I guess it can be. I would say be. unhealthy. I guess it can it be. It can be unhealthy, for yeah. sure. Yeah. If you can take it too far. Yeah. But some people have now turned that into an occupation. So Yeah, making money. But not all people. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, get off that game. You. You're not, sure, you might sure. not make it. Just get off the game. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> what about you, Tats? Of course, mine's like all food related. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, one of my good friends, um, Sharice, she's been on the show before. She we has. Love hey, Charisse. Charisse. Yeah, she sent me like this TikTok of this man like talking about hot dogs. Like he was like, he's like, I love hot dogs. And he's like, and I hate when somebody's like, oh my God, like, do you know what hot dogs are made out of? Right. And like how they're made? And he's like, I don't <laughs> give a fuck. Right. <laughs> like, and that's exactly how, how I feel. feel. Cause like, I know hot dogs are gross, but my favorite food mm-hmm. and I would never yes. stop eating them. Right. And then my other bad habit, which is also food related is then, like, also, like, feeding my child, <laughs> like, wow. the processed foods yeah. as well. Like, mm-hmm. I could, like, be, like, real tired, and I'll be like, damn, it's, like, the third day I heated up chicken nuggets. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, but it's got to be done. <laughs> <laughs> at least she eating. Like, and so, but at least now it's the world of air fryers. So yeah. I, I, yeah. I like to trick oh, myself yeah, into yeah. thinking, like, but these are healthier chicken nuggets. <laughs> <Right. because laughs> Healthier, air, definitely. Like air frying them. So. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. okay. I, actually, in light of what you just said, I would say that I binge, period. It's not just mm-hmm. alcohol. Sometimes mm. I get into a space where mm. I just eat a lot. And I think that I've always had a binge eating thing, like, just historically growing up. But now... Is it's really two extremes. Like I either w- won't eat, which is very new to me. Mm-hmm. I used to always be like miss a meal. Like, <laughs> like when people would be like, Ooh, "Oh that. my god, today was so busy, I forgot to eat lunch." I used to be like, "I will never." Literally, I will like, stop. I'll never forget. Lunch. I don't give a fuck. We can be in a meet. <laughs> like we, I've been in conferences that lasted hours and hours and hours. And if that shit went past that, like past an hour, past. 
lunchtime, I'm leaving. I don't give a fuck what the consequences are. I don't care who needs to talk to me. I have literally been at conferences for work and been like, well, since this is going over lunch, I'm going to go. Right. I'm just going to get myself a snack or something. Yeah. So I've never at this been the type rate, of bitch. You guys will like be here should, when though, I get right? back. Should, I've right? just mm-hmm. never been the type of bitch to like miss a meal. But lately, it's really been one or the other, which I do... I feel more inclined to get a handle on that than the drinking thing, <laughs> to yeah, be honest. Sure. Like, because now it's like I either won't eat at all or mm-hmm. I'll, like, look up and be like, damn, I didn't eat today. Or I'm I mean, eating, eating is my favorite thing, meals. but eating is definitely mood-based for Word. me. So if Emotional. I am, it's not like being too busy. It's like being too busy added with, being stressed or like add it with being tired, Mm -hmm. then eating can become a chore or like another thing you have to do when it's like, I could get in the bed right now if I, or I can go make something to eat. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'll opt. Like, I'm just gonna go to bed. Like I worry about. And now I feel like my body is so sensitive because now I'm thinking like, how am I going to feel based on, because nights like that where I'm like, I could just go to sleep at this point. It's fucking 930. Mm-hmm. But then I realize like, oh, you haven't eaten since this yeah. morning. Mm-hmm. Now I'm like, sometimes I force myself to eat because I'm like, you're not going to feel well if you don't. Like, you have to do something. I, yeah. hate, I hate. That's one thing about. I don't know if that's aging or if that's just what my body is doing right now. But I feel like when we were when I was younger, I could just do like I could do whatever and my body just wouldn't really notice but now I'm like I woke up with a terrible headache a splitting headache or (laughs) like or I'm nauseous and then you go through the basics it's like oh what did I do did you eat nope did you have any water no it's like oh shit well that's why yeah Yeah. that's probably one of my least favorite things about having kids Mm. is that (laughs) you gotta feed them so much yeah is that I can't when I you know when I have my daughter it's like I can't have that moment of like I've been out all day it's busy we haven't eaten but like it's late fuck it we going to bed I can't have that because we're gonna right we're gonna get in the house and she's gonna look at me like we haven't eaten. <laughs> like, right. it was like, you have to feed me. So no matter what time it is, yeah. whether it's midnight, I'm in the kitchen making fucking mac and cheese. Yeah. Like, and I'm oh, pissed yeah. about it. I be, that's so funny that you said about having a kid because I be feeling that way about myself. I'm <laughs> like having to feed yourself. Yes, like <laughs> lately that has been such a chore for me. Like I, I wake guess, up every I'm day and I always am like, ah, new day. And, like I have these mantras and these affirmations that I say every morning, and I say my affirmations, and then I'll be like, fuck, I gotta <laughs> figure out what to eat. Like every, yeah. day. every day, like I just ate last night. Like I gotta do this again. Yeah, uh, it'd it be gets tiring. Pricey. It's tiring. It gets. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's everything. But everything. you know. Yeah, I just think it's just now that hey, we get older, we find some, like, we kind of lose sight of, like, I guess the real important things about our body. Yeah. we're so focused on, like, the outside things that's going on, like, mm-hmm. what's really going on around us, like, you know, the world itself. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Work, life. But you your know. inner world is suffering because you didn't drink you no water. Because <laughs> you didn't drink no water. Now, that's what I will so, do. One thing, no, for real. That, that's what's not going to change. Like, that's why I can decide to not eat for the day because I'll yeah. think in my head, like, well, you drunk, like, 12 bottles of water today. Mm-hmm. You'll be fine. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. you're going to wake up in the morning. So, it's it's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you should drink no water, though. I mean, some people ain't drink water, so. So much. Child, okay, let's check in. Yeah. <laughs> I said that like I was saying something so spicy. <laughs> Bye, <child. laughs> um, I'll start. Yeah. Okay. Physically, I'm feeling um, loose as a goose, to be honest. Oh-hoo. Emotionally, I'm feeling joy. Yeah. My attention is currently on uh, this evening. I have to. I got to shape up because <laughs> I've got a whole, whole nother shift of drinking waiting on me. I say shape up so you can um, shake back down again. I know. Yeah, good. <laughs> hey. um, that's what my attention is on. Spiritually, I'm feeling uh, grateful. Gratitude. One. Which one of you hoes want to go first? I mean, so, next. Well, I ain't no hoe. Mm, guess it's me. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what do you have to say? <laughs> you was like... I- <laughs> you have to tell me one of his whole stories. She was like, don't, Ooh, actually, don't, he did don't just tell, tell me her something that. about him hoeing. Don't no, tell her that. I was thinking about <laughs> Players Club like, and how dramatic that part was when that. she was like. Me too. Uh, I literally just watched it. Yeah, remember when Ronnie was like. <laughs> 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 when Ronnie told her, like, let's go home. And she was like, what? what? And she was like, well, that's what they're going to call you upstairs, so you better get used to it. <laughs> and then they go slow it down, like, so let's go. 
<laughs> like the nerve like, of y'all. Why would y'all make it so, so dramatic? Stupid. Oh my goodness. Ronnie is a really scary lady. She, she was really scary. She was wild. Like, she was wild. I, like, she I was really it. scary. I watched it older now, like so it's like wow. I like, watched it a billion it's like, times. Yo, I've like, seen that movie so many I see like, like the the last time I watched it. Probably, you were a kid. I mean like twenty one, right? Okay, you know, right. Like nineteen, twenty one. Now thirty, you like okay, like what? Were, it's crazy. Like, it was a scary going? life. You've been like, like that's a horror film. It was yeah, a really like, scary. And then it got the nerve to tell you like, life. like bro was like never to be found at the end. Like <laughs> and when I, he was dying, like and I Bernie hate it. That's probably found. like my. I mean, I love the the movie, but yeah. like I that is definitely that my movie. least favorite like Ice Cube bro. Because I feel like <gasps> that's the only. Yeah, like he was. That's was the wild. only he Ice Cube. That's the only role he's ever played. Where he was genuinely a bad person. Yeah, I ain't like that. You know, every other movie, he's always fundamentally a good person. But, yeah. like, in that, like, the fact that they literally just set that girl up to get raped and listen to it. Is insane. They were just at the door, like, yeah, that's like I can't. Yeah. I mean, can't what he said at the that. end, yeah, like, he had something like, 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 tell her, tell her, like, we get it. No means no. No means, yeah. like, what? What do you mean? When I, no. when I, Think about Players Club. I literally, I go out of my way to try to block that whole scene out. Yeah, like, I cannot um, think about that. It's insane. It's, it's, it's awesome. Really awesome. And, it, and as you guys know, if you're friends of the show, I saw that movie for the first time in the movie theater when I was, like, six. Yeah. Oh, that whoa. My mother. <laughs> she just whoa. didn't know. She did not know. <laughs> yep. My the mother told me. And it wasn't just me. It, it was me, my brother, and our two best friends. <laughs> Friends <laughs> that she took to the movie theater to see that when it came what a story out. Story to tell. Like, Cause she didn't. <laughs> cause the funny thing about it though is that she didn't realize like how bad it was, but it's the fact that we didn't leave. Yeah, because hilarious. if I took Cassidy to a movie yeah, and it turned out. out to be that yeah, like, fucking bad, yeah. I'm gonna be like, we have to go. I have we to can't forfeit. This. I have to forfeit my six dollars. <laughs> yeah, we, can't we gotta get out of here. Watch the whole thing. The fact that the people at the movie theater would even be like, okay. Right. I mean, they like, had no choice. I, I know, but like, tickets for six? Like, you and me. Are <laughs> like, you in the city, six kids? Like, like, and like, like, y'all got y'all popcorn. Mom, that whole time, like, she, was, she felt so bad, but did you think we left? Slushy, no. was like, popcorn, funny. candy. She was right, sitting there like, like this, trying to cover everybody's eyes. <laughs> like, that's all she was doing. Like, throughout the whole movie, she was just like, oh, 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 God. But even the language. Oh, like, And the, my like, brother, his friend over there, like, like, like just the so thought that happy. you gave six tickets to oh, say players gave, club you to gave like kids. Everybody yeah, a ticket, just... Like okay, <laughs> yeah, good luck. But I love it though. What you say? Like okay, I've like, been sure? up game my whole life, y'all. No, so. no, no. I'm <laughs> to Period. It's crazy. Michael, I'm sorry. physically, um, yes. I'm a little sore from the gym. Yeah, love that feeling. Um, emotionally, um, this has been joy I, constantly. I love that for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, my attention is on just festivities in the summertime. So I guess just summer. Mm -hmm. Let's just yeah, be yeah. out, right? Let's yeah, just sorry. enjoy our nice weather in this city because mm -hmm. it can easily Especially be gone. Especially today. Summertime. Yeah. Catch that feeling. Uh -huh. Lay back. Let's start living. It is cool. Mm -hmm. I know you want to let it go. So throw your, your kids, kids and your problems out the window. window. It's the motherfucking <laughs> classics for me. <laughs> yes. And I'm also mm -hmm. feeling um, gratitude spiritually. I'm taking it. Right. I'm, I'm taking, taking it. it. <laughs> so, I'm taking it too. Um, yeah. So, mm -hmm. physically, I am feeling... I don't really know. Physically, I feel... You had an I had itch an on itch. your nose. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. Physically, it I had an itch. <laughs> Emotionally, I feel happiness. Uh -huh. My attention is on moving. Yeah. And spiritually, I feel gratitude. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. My turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Physically, I feel... I'm kind of with my... Well, a little sore from the gym. I've been playing the last okay. few days. Yeah. Look at these guys. Oh, mm -hmm. side note, got my x-ray back. No broken foot, guys. Oh, good. Oh, that that makes me happy to hear. Period. That makes me happy. So, yeah. So I've been enjoying my gym time. Emotionally, uh, it's a little it's a little different for me. Uh, there's been a lot going on in my family, so it's a little different. But mm -hmm. I feel stable. Like, right now, stable, I would say. Mm -hmm. Fuck with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. My attention is on just, I don't know, just being better this year. Like mm. I, 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 feel like, wow. I feel like I had, I've been focused on a lot of the wrong things. Mm. So just, I think just being better. Yeah. Like okay. just actually focusing on myself, being better. So I fuck with that. That's fantastic. spiritually, I'm curious. 
I would say. You spitting today. How can I believe this is happening? Okay. I'm oh, loving it. You spitting today. Oh, what a wordy man. I love it. Congratulations. My Aquarian <laughs> brother. Like, congratulations. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so today you're getting an episode that is co a co-production, a Marshall Bree Stories co-production. Mm. And I'm not going to tell y'all all Marshall business, <laughs> but I could. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to do hot takes. So we have a couple of just various topics. So I'm just going to say the word, and we're mm -hmm. just going to talk about what we think about that word. Okay? How does that sound, guys? Okay. We're going to start with you, though. Okay. So the first word is father. Father. Talk about <laughs> love. You think so? <laughs> so you That's think wild so. as fuck, right? Mm hmm That's the first word that comes up? For me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You wanna elaborate or no? Uh I can. What's up to you? Please do. And it doesn't matter, like, the direction it goes? No, you okay. can go wherever you want to go. Yeah, definitely. All right, yeah. When I say uh, father and love, uh, I would say not exactly what y'all think it is. I oh. think uh -oh. a lot of times we may kind of forget that it's uh, up and down everything. So, like, love mm -hmm. in a sense of, like, needing more love. So, like, mm -hmm. you know, oh. Mm -hmm. It's okay. not really, uh, my dad, I love my dad. Like, I love of my course. dad. Of you course. Know? Dad, I love you. But um, sometimes we are not always taught to love people the right way. Mm -hmm. and so we have to learn how to love them in our own way. Mm -hmm. So I would say love has been my, the first Can I ask you a follow-up question? Yeah. How have you learned to love through the absence of love that you felt? Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's tough. And... I think we a lot of people have this, mm -hmm. right? We have this, but we not everybody has it in the way we should. But my mom. Oh, okay. Me. Period. My mom showed me how to do that because she kind of dealt or went through the same thing mm -hmm. with her father as well. And so, um, I think she like watching her go through that same process with my dad, mm -hmm. and watching their marriage kind of just mold for 36 on say mm -hmm. years that was june 11 36 years um she's had to adapt to certain things and i've learned to you know just kind of learn people love the people through their flaws like their mm. the ups and downs like they loved you better than their father probably loved them you know? mm -hmm. so like the only thing you can do is try to capitalize and i think that's the biggest lesson i've learned throughout this whole situation is like being a better father so, mm -hmm. like, it's a timeline of just being a better father, you know, if it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think of when you think of the word father, Tati? Oh, I think of appreciation mm. and acceptance. Um, I'm a huge daddy's girl. Yes. Uh, me and my dad have always been very close and very tight. Me and my dad are a lot alike. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of the same the way we think, like our thought process is um, is the same. So we relate mm -hmm. a lot to one another. Mm -hmm. And I think like a lot of little girls, I grew up idolizing him and which I still do in a sense. But yeah. when I got older and realized that like he is also a man, <laughs> like mm -hmm. he is, you know, it's the same way that he is like my father. Like he's also mm -hmm. just a regular man mm -hmm. that makes all these regular man mistakes and does all these regular man things that I would kind of be like, no, my dad, like, right. you know, like you're just supposed to be dad. So yeah. I had to Oof. yeah, learn to accept all the sides of him and learn that, you know, I still still love him just as much. It doesn't change anything. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. didn't, you know, learning that somebody has flaws doesn't, you know, break the bond or change mm -hmm. the love right. that's there. So that's how it I doesn't love. have to. Yeah. 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 No. yeah. That's a good so point. love and accept. I'm not said appreciation and yeah. acceptance. Mm -hmm. I love that. Michael? Um provide. Mm. Um like my dad has always done that. Yeah. Since I was Little baby. <laughs> um, 
Before you came here. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I th- he just always makes sure his family is good. Mm-hmm. And I love that about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, when I hear the word father, I don't think about my father. I think about the Netflix special, Our Father. Hmm. It's awful. Seen it. It's awful. You should Never watch it. Never seen it or heard of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll give you a rundown. Is it new? It's, it's it came it's out in fairly, May. It's fairly new. Yeah. Oh, so it came out this year. Yeah, it came oh, out in May. Okay. It's oh, okay. a docu series about. Do you want me? Are you gonna watch it? Do you, do you mind spoilers? <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna watch I don't it, care. So, but I'll probably so watch it. But I don't care. Don't Oh. Yeah, I'm, watch it. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about there. Okay, yeah. cool. But it. it fucked me up. It it oh, was whoa. upsetting. So <clears throat> next word, Marshall. What do you think about when you hear the word music? Music. Oh, just something I love to do. I love music. I, uh, mm-hmm. If I say you're gonna tell I the people, I think she set me up, guys. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. But no, yeah, I love music. Like I think it's something I didn't realize I loved, and I kind of ran from all my life. Yeah. Till I got older, and so, and then my mom, like watching her be and just me beautiful musician all my life, kind of mm-hmm. just. And then for her, I guess to finally hear me kind of doing it now after she. Begged. She's a musician. Yeah. What does she? What does she do? Mom plays the piano. She sings. She plays the violin. The oh flute, wow! Oh, that's oh. fun facts. I piano. never know. I love that. She that's sings. So fun. Yeah. Like an angel though. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, so mom. she's really happy that you that you embrace that you have yeah, a beautiful finally. singing voice, a beautiful singing voice. Great music, thank you. I appreciate great it. music. So much. Yeah. yeah, finally, yeah. it took twenty eight years. That's okay. It it be like that though. Yeah, right. you know, I'm fine. I found it. It's What's your favorite matter. song right now? Favorite song right now, and I think it's been one of my favorite songs since I was a kid. But just it recently recently became one of my favorite songs again. Is Walked out of heaven, my jacket is. Ooh. Oh, wow, absolutely. When they like walked out of heaven, my jacket is. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. and, and what's the other joint? Uh, is it about jacket edge? Yes, it's jacket edge. It's with that. It's with that. Is he can't love you. I gotta be. I was about to say we was just I have, listening. I, I, to I, I know the song. It's on by jacket edge. Jacket. I just listened to it. Oh, so I you listen. just so you just on the jacket edge repeat. kick right now? That's just my. That's like that's like my favorite R&B group though. Really? Oh, nice. I like that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like Jacket Edge. I'm actually, uh, uh, we'll talk about that later. But okay. You're yeah. about to make a song with them. <laughs> no. I was about to say. I was he was like, he was like actually, but then he was like, he didn't want to break it like right now, so it was like, I'll tell y'all later. <laughs> but nah, nah, camera. nah. I would love Jacket Edge. Yo, check it out. I well, said, hit him hey. up. Hit him up. He writes, Brian. he sings, he's great. Brandon Brown. Brandon and Brandon Brown. <laughs> Boy. Hey. Tati, what do you think of when you hear the word music? Um, when I hear the word <gasps> music, I think. Go ahead. What? I can't wait to tell y'all something. Go ahead. Oh, good. Um, I just thought about it. When I think of music, I think about all the like wonderful memories it's given me. Mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. all of, like so many of my most important memories from like being young or like things that like stick yeah. out of my head yeah. are all like music based. Like I can remember like dancing around my living room to like Jenna Jackson when my parents Ooh. were just like playing oh, on the stereo uh, like yeah. on the speaker and I would just spin in circles. Dream of um, us together again. Yes, that oh, was the song. That'll make me and cry. I didn't even know and mind you I was really I didn't even really realize what the song was actually yeah. about. I was just mm-hmm. spinning around like everywhere I go. Just mm-hmm. like Gorgeous like song. you know Gorgeous like I remember song. watching oh, that's the best when they ever. televised yeah. Usher's My Way concert. Yeah. Like I remember that was like my parents made it a big to do for me because I was, oh. you know, loved them. So like they invited my best friend over. Like we had food. Like there are like wow. Polaroid pictures of me like oh, wow, cool. standing in front of the TV like ah, like I was at a <laughs> concert, you know, and then like going to my first concert which was yeah. also Usher, 8701. Yeah. Right. Um, like, That's just fun. so many, like, moments. Like, riding in cars, going to sleep to music. Yeah. Like... That's what I think of when I think of music. They just I make... They make that. moments. And yeah. I connect to stuff even... Um, I have a lot of... What, what do we call it? Like, music memory. Like, when people say words. And yeah, then, like, word I just automatically... Yeah, and I just automatically <coughs> hear music. Me and you got that real bad. I do it yeah. so bad. And I'm also like that... Like I can be like well, in the sh- in the, I can be like in Walmart and a mm-hmm. song will play and it's like I have to freeze because I'm just like, 
where was I when I first heard yeah. this song? Yeah, exactly. Like something, oh like something goodness. important happened. Oh like God. yeah, or this was in like in a movie I loved, or a, and I have to remember like the specific scene mm -hmm. exactly. Like I can remember the scene, how I felt like when I was watching the scene, and I'm like, now I know why. Like it was the song, yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's, what's your what favorite song right now? Oh girl, I don't know. Come on. But you know what? That's a lie. I just watched the movie A Star is Born oh, for yeah. the first time. Yeah. I just watched it like mm. last week. I'm obsessed because I, I love romance and I love sad stuff. Yeah. And so I'm obsessed with Shallow. Yeah. Um. Yes, that is. I've been playing that and humming it every day. Every That's what they won an uh, Oscar yes, for that, right? She won a, yeah, Lady uh, Gaga won an Oscar. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I never saw that. So movie. shallow, really. Yeah, I, and good. I thought about you when the movie went off because, like, I loved it so much. And I was like, this is a movie that Brie would love and then be like, why would you have me watch that? Exactly. Because yeah. <laughs> it is, like, really emotional and, like, sad. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my but word. But it's good, for right? I and I didn't it. know that he could sing. Mm. Bradley Cooper? Yes. I did not know that he could <laughs> that sing. And especially not so like that. Right. Like, yeah. I did not, like, it. I just loved it. It's so shallow. Good. Oh. Like Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Me? Michael? Um, what do you think of when you hear the word music? Emotions. Yeah. Because it's just so many, the genres just take me to different places. Yes. Um, alternative, R&B, hip hop, pop. Oh. I'm not thinking of pop. I think about like my youth, like the early 2000s. Yes. And that makes me feel always just a way. Mm -hmm. R&B, the 90s, just like that just makes me think about childhood and just mm -hmm. like hip hop in our age and like high school and stuff. Like it's mm -hmm. always more joy than anything. I really having like sad mm -hmm. moments. But if you yeah. want to put on a sad song, like yeah. you get the emotion out of that too. Always. Mm -hmm. um, so I just like how emotional it makes me feel. I love music I love so it. much. What's your favorite song right now? My favorite song right now is Denial by Ray Strummer. Yeah. Mm. Um, I just like I how that, that song makes me feel. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's like, it's a vibe. It hey. is. Hey, yes, I love I just it. Keep it. Took <laughs> out, I love it. Your tongue is out. Um, tell us about you. Okay, so this is what I wanted to tell y'all. Y'all. Mm -hmm. I, I was just talking to Michael about my cousin a couple weeks ago. So my cousin oh. plays the sax. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's fantastic. And he just played the sax behind Usher on oh. his tiny desk. Are you wow. serious? Major. First of all, Usher, tiny desk. Are y'all fucking kidding yeah, me? Yeah, that's about to be But nice. my cousin, yeah. that's my cousin on the sax. Wow. Shout out to Jay Flat. Jeremy. Jerry, I love you. Like I fucking love you. Oh like gosh. Gosh. Oh, that's, that's gonna be amazing. Yeah, no, I literally he I don't know, but uh. he posted on his story and I was like, what the fuck yeah. is this? Cause I mean he's done like he's done a lot of really, really big stuff. Like he did the Super Bowl this mm -hmm. year. Oh, um that behind was, Mary that J. Was Blige. He's yeah. um I think he's done other stuff for Mary J. Blige. He was just here in Chicago behind Marsha Ambrosia. So he's yeah. he's out here. Oh, yeah, but he's like pretty, yeah, he's uh, Usher, I was like, yo, especially something yeah. as intimate as Tiny Desk. Cause y'all know yeah. it's not like a big band, yeah, you know, like good room about as big as like, I'm part, like, they, yeah. you were literally yeah, like, chosen out of probably right. hundreds of fucking people who play the horn. Like the rehearsal was probably so intimate, obviously. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh my great. god, I was I was elated. Just just being Wait, so like that's fantastic. You guys they gotta be like you have to be interviewed like for the time yeah days? i didn't know that like even the, the musicians the, i, I thought those were like dope, their people you have to what oh no 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 they do uh, celebrities do it too so i thought like the musicians in the background were like people that they like their band i mean it, yeah it bands, i mean that's what i'm saying i don't know how obviously he wanted to get a new band for you this know what I'm saying? yeah that's, that's I what I said. That's but, a but also yeah. for all I, I don't know that he's been in california for a while for all i know who knows what he's been doing he's all been this time you know like but yeah, yeah like that shit was crazy so i'm like wow look at you that's so that was really cool that's um amazing. yeah that was really really dope um i would have cried if that was I, my cousin. I i didn't know what to do i was just like no, that was my cousin i actually would have like, been pissed i'm like flipping through i would have called oh him yeah like, like yeah. what <laughs> word i'm like flipping <laughs> through his story and i was just like major and he sent me like all these like mind-blowing emojis like right like he like he's, he's still said, in the space like I, I, I know i'm like yeah that shit is amazing so shout out to him but I would um, definitely go to LA with him instead of coming here. I know. <laughs> that's so funny. That's like, so funny. Right. That's why. Like, that's yeah, because like, so I was telling I was telling him a couple of weeks him. ago that my my little brother like made me feel so good. He was like, oh, because my brother's about to turn 18. So he was like, oh, I should do a bonfire by your house and an after party by your house. Would that be okay? And I was like, uh-huh. Like, I was just, like, so excited. And then, like, three days later, I talked to my dad, and my dad was like, oh, I think he's going to go to L.A. instead with, with, with Jerry. I was like, oh. And it's like, 
It hurt my ego and my pride, but it's also like I can't fucking compete with that. Definitely not. Like, He's about to have a time. Like yeah. I'm, I'm about, to, I'm not even gonna text my brother. Like it would be like, you sure you don't want to have a bonfire? <laughs> <laughs> like, ugh. no, you, thank you. Literally, no thanks. I'd be like, low key, like I'm gonna go too. Like you still want to spend your birthday with me, right? Right, true. <laughs> I could, but you know, I don't know. He boys. can do it when he comes back. Yeah, I don't know. He's just, I mean, yeah, of course, but right, I was right. just, like, guilt trip of ministry. Oh my god! But anyway, um, but what I think of when I think about music is um, really the same as Michael. Like it makes me, I don't have a good memory, mm-hmm. um, so I don't recollect things often. But music will really take me back to a place. Yep. I can. Mm-hmm. And I have a, when I do experience my memory, it's very sensory. Like, I can remember smells mm. and, like, feeling. And it really all will rush in depending on the song. And there's certain songs that no matter how many times I hear it. Because sometimes I get in a kick and I'm like, damn, I've been listening to this song a lot. But I still, all it always evokes the same emotion. Right. And um, Velvet Rope by Janet Jackson is, is an album that. All the way through. I can absolutely see it. I just see myself in the backseat of my mom's car. I was going to Arcadia. Oh, my God. Um, oh, also Sweetest Thing by Lauren Hill. I remember it was raining. My mama had to drive me to the bus stop because she didn't want me to walk because it was raining. Mm-hmm. Like, I can remember stuff like that just because of music, but right. not for any other reason. So I love mm-hmm. that. Right. Um, my favorite song right now. Fuck, I just had it. My favorite song right now. Fuck. I can't remember now. Well, Hurry. I have a, I have a, um, I have a default. My default favorite song. Oh no no no! Mm, I got a lot of favorite songs right now. My favorite song right now is "As It Was" by it, Harry Styles. Oh right, mm. still, 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 still. Yeah. Harry Styles. Is that so fucking. I have I don't think I've heard that song. I need to. I think Yo, you have. that song. What did you say it was called? As it was. It's called "As It Was." As it was. That song. Did you have a song? No. Because I have a song sound. Because I'm mean, pissed. I mean, this, it's, it's, it's just a, it's just a low how it sounds, that, Yeah, I was low. Yeah. It's just a low. I'm like, is that really how it sounds? Because I could just see him being like, <laughs> yeah. Like, as it was. <laughs> no, <laughs> as it was. No, because I was listening to a lot of music. this Because I don't, I'm not, a, I don't listen to, as, even though I'm a musical person, I don't listen to a lot of music because it is too emotional for me sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, especially like, Sadly, like when I'm in a depressed state, I don't ever listen to music like at all. Wow. But yeah. um, so sometimes I always relish in the, in the moments when I do feel like when I just mm-hmm. feel like playing music. And today yes. was one of those days. And I listened to all of um the Goodies album. Fantastic. And then I listened to all of Pandemonium. Right. And then I put on my um I have a play- playlist called Sing Boy. Mm hmm. I have a sing girl, which is all women, and yeah. then sing boy. So I was playing that that playlist, and I was still listening to it on the way to the train. And then I just was like, oh, I want to hear Harry Styles because I knew he wasn't on there, you know, because he's right. Right. <laughs> Um He has his own playlist. Oh, good. Um, but I was like, I want to hear it as it was. So yeah, as it was is just always a good one. Okay, I have another word. What do you think of when you hear the term plant medicine? Plant medicine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Say it. Like, we. <laughs> Come on, Not say it. Say it. Like we, yeah. Yeah, like we. Yeah. Do Do you like we? We's cool. I mean, How does it make you feel? Does it feel like medicine? Does it feel healing to you? Um, I like the feed me like the little CBD gummy things. Oh, you like CBD? Yeah, that, like when it comes to like. Like if achy stuff, like oh, so you use it as actual medicine? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like if I have to take like for my knees and stuff, I use because your knees be achy. Yeah, because you're thirty or back. Yeah, because I'm thirty. <laughs> like Got my it. back too. Got so. it. Tati, yeah. what do you think of when you think of the term plant medicine? I'm so not cool. Um, I think of aloe vera plants. Yeah, yeah that's that's that was medicine. like <laughs> that's, that's like what popped into my hair. Do you um, use aloe vera? I do for your hair for your skin. Uh, skin. Like, I use aloe vera gel, like, on mosquito bites. Mm. Um, <laughs> I do. Is that what she really I thought about that? I use it. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I use it a lot. Well, let me not lie. I don't use it a lot. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> what I use it for, if I use it, is all for, um, I don't know how to say it. Like, if it's, like, a blemish mm-hmm. or. So topical. Yeah, right. something yeah. like that. That's what I use it for. And my great-grandma used to, like, grow aloe vera plants like mm-hmm. she kept them like in her house and then like i had an aunt 
um, that passed away, and then we took one of her aloe vera plants and stuff. So, yeah. Aloe vera. I love that. That's what nice. I think of. <laughs> what do you think of when you hear the term plant medicine? I thought about eucalyptus. Mm, I love eucalyptus. Oh, yeah. So just like, I like it. I've been seeing people put it in their showers and mm-hmm. stuff. And I want to do that. So it's I actually nice. got a spray bottle I use. Like, yeah, I have some oil. eucalyptus that I spray that I use, too. like my shower. People put the like, plant in no. their shower? Yeah, the yeah. actual oh. plant. Like they hang it on their shower head. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. It yeah. smells really good. Interesting. Or you can just get the spray bottle. Just you could. I can, like. Or I do both. Steam shower. I do both, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, you have a plant? Not anymore. Oh. Not right now. But yeah, I have all of those eucalyptus sprays and the um, I mean it's probably not real eucalyptus, but the Bath and Body Works like oh, um the little things that you plug into the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's yeah. what my house currently smells yeah, I have like. Some in my eucalyptus is probably my favorite too. smell. That lavender. My favorite smell is sandalwood. Mm. Sandalwood. Mm. Yes, it's, I thought you were about to say lavender too. Lavender is my second favorite, but mm-hmm. sandalwood. Sure I I think that if I had a scent, it would be a mixture of sandalwood and la- lavender because I think that it's equal parts masculine and feminine. Oh, good. Mm. Um, that's what I. That's what it feels like when I smell it. But what I think of when I think about plant medicine is, um, my first thought was like shrooms, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, shrooms is making. Re-entering, you know the 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 space. Okay, and that's cool. <laughs> it is. Okay. Huh. Okay. Cake. Hey. Cake. She want that. Cake, 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 cake. First thing that came to me was Just like birthday cake, and I don't like cake. Birthday cake. Too. Same. Yeah, I'm not a cake person. Boys you, you don't like birthday weird. cake, or you don't like no mm. cake. I don't, don't like, lie. I'm not a big cake person. Like, if I eat cake, it has to be strawberry. Like, okay. strawberry. Wait, Stra- it has to be strawberry cake or cake with strawberries? Like, the like the cake has to be strawberry. Like the, like oh, like the, pink. Yeah, strawberry cake. Oh, okay. Oh. With, like, pink frosting, too. Oh. Uh, I don't, I don't, and I like lemon cake. Like, but it has to be, like, again. He loves cake. <laughs> right. <laughs> Give some of also, like, and I wait, like lemon no, cake. And like chocolate. 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 You know, wait, no, 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 no. So no, insane. like I can only eat these things with like ice cream and milk. Like I can't, only, I, I can't eat these things you plain lost by me themselves. At milk. I'm, but I no, don't, I don't, yuck your I don't eat regular milk though. Yeah. Like I don't drink regular milk. I drink you only drink like almond milk. milk, oat milk. Oh, either oat, way, oat I've never had oat milk. Yeah, oat milk. I like oat. Milk. I no, no regular hate milk. y'all. Oat milk. Oat milk is disgusting to me. Oh, you I've never me? tasted it's it. It's disgusting I mean, like, to me. Like, you like I'm milk? not even a person. I'm not even a person that like. I don't have a weak palate. Like I could taste something and be like, oh, I don't like that. But like to want to gag. No way. It was so terrible. I oh, well, hate you, it. Dana buys us that chocolate oat milk from Trader Joe's, and it's fantastic. I'm not gonna try it. You have to. I'm I mean, chocolate is obviously probably better because it has a taste. Yeah, to but it. also it has oh, a just flavor. Oat milk in general, because like I I do yeah. plant milk for like my um cereal. No, like my <laughs> my breakfast beverages. I don't really do a lot of coffee no more. But like if I do a chai or whatever. Mm-hmm. And the first time when I was just trying to try it out, I got a chai latte with oat milk. I could have threw up. But I had already tried oat milk because of my job. We used to always get a lot of like different brands of plant <laughs> yeah. milk to like try. So we would literally just taste the milk. I could have fucking threw up. I, I can't believe I did. That. That's crazy. I, that's I, that's I, a visceral like I remember what that, that tastes like. Ugh, it's disgusting, and everybody you couldn't drink goat milk. Everybody for sure. loves. I don't like milk. <laughs> yeah, I don't like milk, milk at all. But like almond milk, or I don't. I mean, almond milk is not disgusting, but I don't hate it. Right. But um, I mean, that's I mean, but it's like are. not milk like y'all think though. Like I mean, I feel like I, I don't, that's like one thing I just I never kind of figured out is how people don't like regular milk, but then they don't like like. Oat milk or almond milk. It's, that's like, not real I milk. Like, like, I mean, you know? yeah, but I just don't like. I don't. I don't like milk. Period. But I like. It's not coming from. Flesh I can either. drink almond milk. I uh, no. I can consume almond milk with my cereal. Okay. I can put coconut milk in my chai lattes. Other uh-huh. than that, mm-hmm. yeah. it's a lost fucking cause. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Gross. It's disgusting. Tati, what do you think of when you think of cake? Well, at first I thought of like ass because I started singing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Booty, um, like, you know, fun cake, cake. That's what I started thinking of. But also, I love cake. Love it. I'm and now that I'm a grown up, I actually don't <laughs> like. I don't like the cake with the strawberries. 
Oh, good. Like, that drives me I don't insane, like that. actually, it's, now. It's Whenever I... It's a childish cake. Yeah, it is. It's a, a very, cake. It is a, a childish, childish cake. cake. So when I go when, like, to people's like birthday parties or like people have cake and then they cut it and I see that it has the strawberries, I'm like... Yeah, it's so childish. I don't like, even I want to eat that cake. I don't really want to eat it I'm glad to hear it. But I'm gonna I see, love, I love cake. strawberry flavor cake. I like Man. strawberry cake. I love marble cake. I love, I love vanilla cake. cake. I like oh, chocolate marble, cake. Marble cake. I like cookie cake. marble cake with strawberries, though. No, All that's, like it's just too dry. Cake yeah, period is just too dry. It's Thank not you. dry. A dry. Sam's Club cake is super Never dry. Wait, so hold on. Are you sure Never about that? A, sh- a sheet cake from Sam's Club? Woo! A marble cake. A marble cake. Oh, Talk about so wait, Sam's Club. Shout out my, Sam's coach, Club. my coach's wife, Miss Wells. She make cakes at Sam's Club? No, she makes oh. the best <laughs> strawberry brownie you will ever have in your life. Oh, strawberry strawberry brownie. brownie? That sounds fun. Listen, you talk about dessert. Mm. Okay, we talking about dessert. Let's yeah. have, let's, let's, yeah, ca- like, how, how can we can get we some? Can we buy some? Like, Miss Wells. Tell her, tell Miss Wells. Miss Wells. Tell her, hit us up. Yeah. yeah. We would love to try them. I want, because like brownies be real hit or miss for me mm-hmm. sometimes. Mm. Like, I like a brownie. But it misses so much. Like, I'll Do eat it. one, and then it's just like... Yeah, I get it. Take my gas station. Yeah, it just needs to be... Or it just needs to while. be right. Like, I can't even describe <laughs> it. I don't even know how to tell Good people luck describing what that. I'm looking for in a brownie. <laughs> but so often, I taste them, and it don't be that. But when yeah. I get one, and it is that, it's like, oh, it's the best fucking thing that ever I happens love. to me. That just happened to me. Mm. Like, literally, that just happened to me. I love a brownie. All right. Yeah. What do you Je- think of? Uh, speaking of Jewel, sorry to cut you guys off, but speaking of Jewel and how they make those good cookies, mm-hmm. Jewel also makes the best like brownie cookie like mixture Ooh. where it's like a brownie and they have cookies I baked don't on top to hear of that. it. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. Amazing. It's so fattening. So many calories. I think one square <laughs> is like a thousand calories. So I had to stop buying. I had to stop buying them because it was, just, it was ridiculous. That. Because but I have a sweet tooth now. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I, I want it. Like, best. Okay. I want that strawberry yeah. brownie from Miss Wells. Like, yeah, I, want I want that, that too. So I, I want, want try that it. strawberry from Miss Wells too. Mm-hmm. I'm, about to, I'm, about to, I'm about to call my coach today and ask. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. When I think Let about the word cake, I yes. usually thought about cake by the pound. Circulate like the image every time you come around. Hey. What a moment. Okay, can we, can we spend, a, spend a second here? Because yeah. we didn't do it last episode, so by this time, it's been weeks. If oh, look, yeah. If you're looking please. at this, it's been weeks. That's been a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Baby. Good luck. Here's the thing. So I talk about this all the time, and people always be like, I'm capping when I say, like, Beyonce's not my favorite artist. Mm-hmm. She's not. Mm-hmm. I don't know who my favorite artist is. Right. But that does not take away the phenomenon that For is what's Beyonce. what's happening, yeah. It, like, it's, mm-hmm. not a, it's not about Beyonce as a singer or her songs. It's about the phenomenon that is Beyonce. Beyonce. And mm-hmm. and I know that I'm a part of that. Right. Exactly. I don't really claim to be a be beehive because I think that that has more to do with fandom and I don't mm-hmm. think I'm there. Yeah, I'm not a fan but of I am not well, outside of the fucking phenomenon. And the fact is She's I'm coming. 30, y'all. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm 30 years old and a couple of days ago I woke up at 5 uh 34 mm-hmm. and I walked over to my phone and I had a text from Michael McGee. And I don't know what the word said, but I saw the image, and I immediately. You immediately. Send me a, I had to send I it because I got up at three thirty a.m. I immediately. <laughs> yeah. You had texted me at like three thirty four. Yeah. I woke up at five uh, thirty something, and I saw that text, and I I didn't I don't even remember what you said, but I, I literally I just saw either. the image. Yeah. And I don't think I, he said anything. He I just sent the picture. Picture, yeah. Yo, yeah. Screenshot. With no thought. Everybody go. Here we go. Y'all, go. with zero I'm thought. With zero thought. I literally looked at the text and I said, exited out of the text screen, yeah. went to my website, went yeah. to Beyonce.com. Easily. Just purchase. Me just too. purchase. Didn't know what it was. Don't know what it Didn't is. Didn't spend too much time trying to figure it out either. Because I saw no. it. I, I, I mean, up. they gave I you a description. bought something? Yes. Yeah. The world bought it. They gave a description. <laughs> I know it's going to be a CD in there. I know yeah. it's going to be a t-shirt, maybe yeah. a poster, so maybe a little it? booklet. I don't know. Yeah. But... All I saw was thirty nine ninety nine. I said Apple Pay. Yeah. I said check out now. Same. Immediately. Same. Yep. Immediately. I don't know why I got up at three thirty, but I, I don't. I hate that I go to my phone, but I went to my phone, yeah. went to Instagram, and my friend, my friend, she screenshotted her purchase, and I saw shop, shop dot, Beyonce. Beyonce.com. and I'm like, oh, what am I? Let's get out of here. Let's go to find this. I saw the options. 
one, two, three, four. Let's just do four. Yep, I did the same Check thing. Out, closed my phone, went back to sleep. Well, I text everybody first, and then I went back to sleep. I literally was like four. Didn't know what I'm, it was. Like my brain, I was like, okay, there's four options. They're all forty dollars. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna only get one. I'm like four. Four is her number. I'll get four. Yep. Same. Literally, I just was like, I'll get four. It no took two thought. minutes. I, it was. It wasn't until later that day that I really sat and realized, like, I didn't <laughs> think about that at all. Me either. <laughs> no thought. Not so even. Not control. even. Not even. Hey, girl, do you have forty dollars? Oh, literally, right. just <laughs> you just it. check out. Out. Just check out $46 Apple Pay, after tax. Double click, <laughs> look at my face. Like, literally, like, no thought. I'm like, I love that moment. Oh Tati, come on. Are y'all no, ready like, for this? That's the girl. Like, I'm, you guys, I'm on board. So, you guys, but all of that, I'm just not like, the, I don't want to hear that. The either. anxiousness <laughs> and, like, the, all the, like, the random drops. And they're like, I have to remove myself. I can't. Because <laughs> I, but that's why I felt so, that's why I felt so comfortable like, to just go ahead and check out then because it wasn't such a frenzy. Because I think that it was good for me to just see Michael send something and me go to the site and it's just still be there. Yeah, yeah. I was right. It like, wasn't like sold out I was like, okay, I wasn't, it wasn't like, ah, it's happening. <laughs> like, it wasn't like everything fucking else, like the tours and like everything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was just so like, oh, Beyonce has something. You want a Beyonce thing? Like, buy it. Like, it yep. was just yeah. not even a thought. Like, because I... I, I, I was still disappointed in myself. I was like, that, <laughs> with that being said, like, that's annoying. Like, I'll gladly be in the person, frenzy if she no. announces like a tour or something like that. Yeah. Like, you gotta get ready for that. Yeah, I, I mean, like, we just gotta, this is the warning sign. I know. We that. have a month. And that's, and, and that's where the actual palpitations start to come in, where yeah. I start to be like, here we go. Yeah, I don't I'm like, like it's it. Ha- like I that was like happening. It. You have because to get used always, to this. I don't like it. I don't enjoy. <laughs> it makes me not want to. Not, I, I mean, I can't not be a fan. Like yeah, that's automatic. But I, yeah, like I, it makes me want to just be like, yeah, I don't, I don't go to Beyonce shows, or I don't do this because it became too much. Or something. It became, like, too it became too much, much for me, and I just had to sit it out. Man. But you I don't remember the last time. When was the last? Like I don't remember the last time I even saw her live on the run too. You didn't go to on the run. That was a. I did go. So that was the last time. Yeah. She, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I haven't missed that the Beyonce long show ago. since Mrs. Carter, and I can't believe that. I can't believe that. But That's like my favorite show. Even, yeah, mine too. Even Mrs. Carter, though, like we got our tickets at the Ticketmaster at the Lincoln Mall. Mm. You know, like it used to be so simple. Like it used to just be like Back in the day. no, it was no big deal. But now, I mean, it's everything. Like it's it's everything put together. So it is the frenzy that is Beyonce, but it's also the way the internet works because they do it with everybody. Yeah, exactly. like even the not to say lower level, but you right. know, like even like the other, other artists, artists. Yeah, you that should have been sold out overnight because just because people want to, they got bots or whatever, yeah. and they're just and buying up all the tickets. Also, we're living in a time of inflation, Absolutely. and so in the price now. If anything, Beyonce or not, that is what would make me be like, yeah. no. Like, yeah. because concert tickets are becoming insane. It's, yeah, it is getting it's ridiculous. Because, yeah. like, I don't know whose show it was that I was looking it up and I wanted to go. I don't know whose show it was, but I was looking it up. And, you know, United Center, even mm-hmm. up there, like, in the 300 level and stuff, ridic- it was like a hundred and something yeah, dollars. And I was like, why would mm-hmm. I spend a hundred dollars to be in the nose? Yeah, no, yeah, I'm like, yeah. what? So no, if, it's, if it's like that, I don't even, I'm just not going. Like, because that, that's ridiculous. I don't believe in that. Yeah. yeah. You just got, I mean, it's, I think it just depends on the artist as well. Because you got people. We're saying it don't. It depends. Yeah, like it, de- it depends. Inflation for some people. has gotten right. great. Like Beyonce these prices. Is a, that's a different type of person. Yeah, but for somebody yeah. like, like now, what like I was, what I was looking at was person. on a lower level than yeah. Beyonce. Right. Yeah. So if their 300 level was $100, right. that means like somebody right. like Beyonce, it'll fuck around to be $200 to But one there. thing I will say about a Beyonce show, especially as of late, it really don't matter where you sit. Mm-hmm. Like you got to be in a terrible fucking seat to be so, be at a Beyonce show and not have a good time. Yeah. Because even I've done Beyonce shows like in the one hundred level. I've done them in the three hundred level. And as she continues to progress, it's a you really damn near want to go to every date that she has in your city so yeah, you can see, see it from all the different angles. Yeah, from the, exactly. Like because yeah. she's giving you a show to to the people up top. She's giving yeah. a show to, like really so when it comes to Beyonce stuff. specifically, like if it came down to it where it was like, wow, her her shit is so expensive that I have to sit up top. I would. Probably do it gladly. I, I don't be think like, that I can, mm. and I want to go to Houston. And I want to be close. But we yeah. sat, uh, we sat high up when we saw her in LA mm-hmm. at the Staples Center. We were mm-hmm. in there like we weren't like we were two hundred level. level. Were we in two hundred level? Absolutely. Because I don't remember. It didn't seem like we, we were, were like, like super close. We were like <laughs> we were we weren't close, but we, we we weren't high up though. Right. Maybe right. we were like we were in the back, the back of two hundred. Yeah, we were. Okay, so we were. 
Yeah. Yeah. But, I'm yeah, like, but, but, yeah, Beyonce, but, but Beyonce, Beyonce. We were still exhausted. But you can. So that's what she's count. saying. Yeah, she's yeah. saying that even when you're far back, you can also right. count on Beyonce still, to just give a good show. Right. It's right. so much happening. I, that's how I feel about Astro World. Though. Like I feel like I don't. I wanna, can see that. Yeah, but I can see that. Travis Scott seems to be on a good He's like one of the greatest show. performers. It's dude. Houston. Yeah. <laughs> it's Houston. I don't know what's going on. He puts on one of the greatest concerts. Because I I haven't been to any of his shows, but I feel like his production level is like. Close Production level is top tier. It's like yeah, a lot of stuff going on on the stage. I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't go just because of the fan base. I'm not interested. I'm, yeah. In now I'm, I mean, now base? I'm not looking there. Yeah, right. too, many, too many big. Uh, I'm like, I don't know what his fan like base right was. Too much going on. They just white teams faint and like they push each other. It's, it's just, just a lot going on right now. They hang off. They hang off. Oh, like mosh pit feeling vibe. But like, yeah, but like the whole stadium. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, that shit did. I wouldn't. You need to calm down. Yeah, if we up here, like calm down. How do y'all feel about that? Like his situation. Oh, the murders? I, I think. <laughs> the murders? I, the, oh. I know, that's, the not, that's, that's not what she meant. That's not what I meant. That's not what she meant. That's not what she meant. Not what I meant. I'm like, like, what's happening not in the news? Murders, but <laughs> people passed away. Like, like at his show. I feel, I yeah, feel like saying, I, right. think they, oh, I think they're trying to um, attack his image. And I don't think that's You fair. think that. I don't think he meant for this. Yeah, like, I don't come think on. that. Like, you know, I mean, it was that out was of his fault. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think it was in his control. I don't blame him for any of that. No, because there are so many other people that that come before him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, when I didn't it comes to production. Right. Yeah. Like, I don't. Right. Like, who let, who like, let like them I'm in just here? on like, it, you know and because I'm on it, you're going to, like, you're targeting me. But, like, I don't have anything to do with the stage being built. How You know, like, I don't do any of that stuff. Like, they show people. And there's so many people. It's so many other. And, like, not to say that anybody necessarily needs to be blamed but yeah. like there's so many people that come before right the before actual him, artists yeah. like right. security yeah. Secu- people who work for him and people yeah. that work for the stadium like there's yeah, so like many the other venue people. to me the yeah. venue is who is at fault That's like exactly. it has nothing sure. to do with him right. like if we rent out a venue to have something at and then something malfunctions at that venue it's not going to be our fault because we had a party there oh, right. like we're going to be suing the venue for That's like exactly. what y'all fucked right. up with yeah, yeah like right. it has nothing to do with us yeah yeah I hope Unless Doing we well, personally, though. I mean, I'm sure that's a thing. I don't know. He's trying to drop music right. now, but he took a time off, a lot of time off. Yeah, so. that's good. Any more words? He needed it though. Yeah, he could afford it, so it's fine. Any more words you got? Oh, um, no. Any any other words from y'all before we wrap up? Mm-hmm. Food. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. Okay, Mike. What do you think take. of when you think of food? I want to eat now. That's mine. Yes. Yes. Let's it's unanimous. Eat. <laughs> Shout out CM Ty on Obama Road. I'm sorry. I just explained to Mike the great garlic fried rice. Garlic fried rice? Where? Vegetable fried rice. This place on Bomber. On Bomber. <laughs> on I'm about Ty, on my boy, <laughs> K. Wood the barber. Oh, hi, K. Wood. We love K. Yeah. Wood. Yeah. That's our boy. He, he just took me to guess. No, he just took me to guess. Oh, I'm like, that's oh, a, I was like, wow. Oh, no, no, he took me to I'm like, I'm so proud like, of him. Like, tell him that he doesn't <laughs> Yeah, I was like, this is amazing. That's so funny. Nah, 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 nah. Not that, that we're not proud of you, K-Wood. No, yeah, okay. no, no, my boy always, yeah. Yeah. K-Wood. That's what's up. Shout out to K-Wood. Um, K-Wood. K-Wood. <laughs> Coldest barbers in Atlanta. Tati, what do you think of when you think of the word food? Oh, my gosh. Like joy so much happiness yeah, yeah so much happiness Pleasure. i'm at my happiest i think when i'm eating good food yeah mm. honestly so yeah yeah, yeah. michael mm. that i want it right now but i don't know what i want to eat yeah, i've just called you Struggle. michael 30 fucking times it's all right it's just interesting because do i not call what you what do i call you I'm mike confused. i think you say everyone michael. all the guys call me mike i feel like i call so, you mike not like you know I, you I say other people too you mikey. You yeah the boys call oh, yeah they say mike i call him mikey now the guys say mike, mike. mike. Like that's why when i, I say it i'd be like who am i i like mike what's going on your name saved in my phone because all the guys always like mike i think is you hear the whole thing mike what up bro like yeah it's always mike i love <laughs> uh, when I think of food, I think about um, me myself being a meal. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. Okay, I like that. Absolutely. I was like going to look at that. I didn't see that coming at all. Yeah, that's a good way to close. That was a good Do you at. have a word before we wrap up? Word? Uh, not really. Okay. 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 <laughs> Tom, what do you think of what you hear now, really? No, <laughs> well, Marsh, we really appreciate you um, giving a fuck enough about this show to wanting to be on the front end I'm of the ahead. camera. And we love you so much. I love you guys. Thank Please you Please so tell much. the people where too. they can find you, where they can find your work. Um, Marshall Gray underscore on Instagram. Is that true? I'm sorry. I believe so. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. Marshall Ground is still on Instagram. And The Dreamer's Eye. T H. Oh. Mm-hmm. The Dreamer's Eye. On IG. Eye, I think. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah The Dreamer's Eye. Yeah. And in addition to that, please continue to follow us where you follow us. That's at Away With Words, the podcast on Instagram. And you can follow me there at Stories, And you can follow me on TwitTwat at Brie underscore stories. And you can follow at A Tati on Instagram and at Hey Tati on TwitTwat. And you know by now. It's July, y'all. Y'all gotta be following that MJM kid and at moments underscore stew because you just gotta. We love y'all so much and we'll talk to you next week. Everybody say bye. 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 bye.